Hello, this is Yakov Fein, and I just wanted to show you a quick illustration of how the child can communicate with the parent, the child component in Angular, by using two techniques. One of them is uh, output properties and event emitter, and the second one using the callbacks. This is an illustration for the blog that I, I, I had a link to this blog, so you can see it. First scenario is using output properties. In this file, I have two components. One of them is the parent, this app component. And the parent component receives something from the event. The something is an event, custom event, called last price. Whenever we receive a last price of a stock, say we have a stock exchange. In this case, of course, we generate fake uh, prices, but the child component knows how to get the data from the stock exchange and the child component emits the data. The parent needs to receive the data and based on this line, line number 37, I'm reading it and I can guess that apparently there is an event in a price quarter component and that event is called last price and when we will receive it, I want to uh, invoke the handler for this event. The handler for this event is it's down there and I see that it's supposed to receive an event with a payload of type I price quote. I is for interface in this case. We receive the object, event object, and from there I extract stock symbol and last price. Stock symbol and last price are <coughs> used in the binding expression on the UI, so the parent is supposed to see the stock price the price for the stock symbol. This is a stock symbol and this is a price and I also use pipe to format it nicely, the price. Now let's take a look at the child and as a matter of fact let's start with an interface. This is an interface that describes the structure of the object that will be sent using the output properties, using the event emitter actually and emit event. Now let's take a look at the child component. Child component is called price quarter component, right? In there, we defined an output property over here. Output property, I call it last price. That's why the event will be called last price. And this is what the parent will be listening to. Output property has to be of the type event emitter. And not only I use this type event emitter, I also use generics from TypeScript to specify that I am going to be emitting event with this particular type of object. So what do I do inside the child? Inside the child, I set the interval every second. I'm going to create a new object that conforms to the structure in describing the interface, right? And I will emit it. How do I emit it? Output property, last price, emit. And this object that I am generating every second. Of course, the price is random, as I said. Let's see that this communication works. Uh, let me run this pr little program. It'll open up the browser, which is on my other screen at this point. But let me bring it here and make it bigger. And you can see that this component with the pink background is a child component. The child component generates price quotes for IBM in this case. IBM is a stock symbol for the stock. And uh, it's sent it over and the app component, which is shown on the white background, it receives exactly that price. Great. So now let me show you another example. Uh, if the, another example that can be used to illustrate how you can do the same thing with with uh, callbacks instead of say instead of child sending an event to the parent the parent will be giving a callback function that has to be called by the child i'm not saying that this is a good idea to use callbacks i really like to use events but let's see how this can be done for those die-hard JavaScript developers who like using callbacks. Let's see. The same idea, the same idea, but let's look at the child component first. Child component that is on the ping background and supposed to generate price quotes. The generation process is the same. 
we create this instance of the object of type i price quote, but instead of emitting event, we invoke the function. Which function? And now let's take a look at this line. Remember, in case of events, I was declaring an output property in the child uh, of type event emitter. Now it's a different story. I am passing to the child an input property of type function. And this function is the one that has to be called from the child on the parent. Now let's see how this can be done. So in the child component there is nothing special. Uh, we have this function who to call and down there in line 32 we are just invoking this function who to call and we pass the object that was generated just now with a random price quote. The tricky part is in the parent component in case of callbacks. Let's see. Line 39. Since I have this child component price, qu price quarter and it needs to have, its need to receive the function to be called, the callback, right? We are binding to this property who to call of type input parameter on the child, right? We need to bind the function from the parent. So, but the thing is that if, you, if you'd be just binding the actual price quarter handler component, it would be invoked out of the context, meaning it would not be invoked within the scope of the app component. This is basically that famous this and that program that many Java developers know. The function in JavaScript, uh, the function call cannot be cannot rely on what is this object unless you do certain precautions. So what do we do? What do we do to make sure that the function will be called exactly in the context of this object, meaning parent component? First of all, I declare a function, price quarter component, declare a variable, right? And this function I bind to the input property of the price quarter component of the child. Now, how do I link this function? How do I say to this function, when you will be invoked, please always run within the object that is represented by uh, app component. And let's see, what I do here in ng on init, which is invoked after the constructor is done and uh, the properties of components are initialized, what do I do here? I have two versions, basically. This version that is not commented out I am binding this object. I'm saying you're going to get the object, right? You're going to get the object uh, which is which will be given to the function, the stock quote, right? And we are saying that this function variable or expression that we declared over here should be bound to this object. This object in this case represents the app component instance. The older syntax was uh, you using bind. How would you do it in ECMAScript 5 syntax? You would be saying, I want to take this function right down there in, in line 54. I want to bind this object. This is represented by the app component. So now we are clean and if whenever the uh, child will call this fn price component, it'll know that it actually needs to call the function that that is uh, uh, programmed in price quarter handler within this context. So now let's run this example, and we will see that the code write, uh, runs exactly the same. I will go to system.js config. I was running before output property binding, but now I will run this one callback binding. So let me re let me change the let me change the application that I run callback binding save it and since i run look at this down there since i run live servers it automatically reloads the code in the browser it already reloaded the code in there and i apparently i get an error i don't like this it's taking too long why then uh i made a mistake apparently callback binding it's supposed to be correct call back it is correct. 
callback binding. Oh, it's in the folder binding. Of course, it's uh, it's wrong. It should be binding slash save back here reloading and yeah now it works all right so now it works fine it works the same way as expected now to find to finalize that thing let me just close for a second mm, let me just comment for a second that mm, code that binds this object i will comment out this line and I'm, I'm going to lose the context. So the function will still be invoked, this FN, uh, uh, quote handler. But it will it will not be properly bound and I will not give, get any data. Going back. See? See, it's not, it's not found. This is, this dot who to call is not a function. It doesn't know the context. It, do, it doesn't know what is that function to invoke so binding to a particular function is important let me go back and now the code will work again all right that's all for now so uh, i'm strongly advise you to not use callbacks and rather use events nice clean uh, loosely coupled component it sends event it doesn't know to whom so and don't go through this callback hell uh, unless you absolutely must, which we are not.